Samsung Pass Not Working is one of the common things a user faces. And if you're one of them, then don't give yourself a headache, cause we are here to solve it. Here are the effective methods that will solve your issue. So our first method is close all the background apps and reboot the Samsung Pass. So here at the bottom, click on the three vertical lines. Then here we can see close all option. You have to press it. As we are recording the screen, we are not going to press it, but you have to press it. Then go to the Galaxy Pass or Samsung Pass. Scan your fingerprint here. So I'm giving my fingerprint here. Well, that's it. Now our second method is opening the application in safe mode. To do so, all you have to do is reboot your phone. So press and hold the power button. Then tap on restart. When the phone is restarted, then again go to the Galaxy Pass and provide your fingerprint. Now our third method is clearing the cache of Samsung Pass. To do so, go to the settings, apps, here, search for Galaxy Pass. As you can see here is Galaxy Pass. Tap on it. Tap on storage. Here you can see at the bottom, just press it to clear the cache. That's it. Now our fourth method is backup and clear local data of Samsung Pass. First, you have to backup your data. To do so, just go to Galaxy Pass, provide your fingerprint. Here is for mine. Now click on the three dot or menu, tap on settings. Here you can see account and syncing. Tap it. Now here is the option sync with Galaxy Cloud. All you have to do is enable it and let it sync your data. After that, when you have synced your data, again, go to settings, apps, apps, then go to Galaxy Pass, click on storage. Now to clear the local data, all you have to do is tap on clear data. That's it. After that, all you have to do is restart your phone and again, go to the Galaxy Pass app. Now our next method is update the firmware of Samsung device. All you have to do is go to settings, scroll down to software and update tap on it now select download and install now it will check for the current software update if you find any available update all you have to do is go for it as you can see here my software is up to date now our next and final method is perform data factory reset to do so go to settings search for factory data reset as you can see here is the factory data reset tap on it now you have to tap on factory data reset here are the list of the apps that will get removed when you perform this factory data reset all you have to do is tap on the reset button that's it and that's it for today see you at our next solution bye